Good afternoon and welcome everyone. I'm delighted to join you, that you could join us. What a great evening event. I'm Eva Aguirre Cooper from Wood TV 8 and I'm honored to be your MC today. We were just trying to figure out, this is the 13th annual Nickel Team contest, uh, poster contest, and I think I've been here for almost all of them, but maybe two. So it's one of my favorite events. I love to come here. Um, I'm always inspired by what we get to see today, so let's get going. Um, as you may know, this program has been very generous, generously sponsored by Ms. Sherry DeVos and the CDV5 Foundation in hopes of empowering young people in our community to choose a tobacco-free life. The Nicotine Project began in 1996 with a group of volunteer physicians going to fifth grade classrooms in the Grand Rapids Public Schools and talking with the students about the dangers of tobacco. In 2007, the program then expanded to include this annual poster contest. And today, like I said, we're celebrating our 13th year of truly amazing art. Before we get started, I'd also like to take a moment to recognize our sponsors for the 2019 contest and this evening's ceremony, the CD5 Foundation, Kent County Osteopathic Association, and the Kent Medical Foundation. We are sincerely grateful for their support. Let's give a round of applause. Thank you so much. And in addition, we really want to also thank Dana Fries Hansen, director of the Grand Rapids Art Museum, who has donated the use of this beautiful auditorium for both the juried and the poster contest and the award ceremony this evening. Dana, would you come up and say a few words? Thank you very much. I guess the most important word is welcome. It's so rewarding and so exciting to see the room full of people. It looks like it's overflowing, but there are some seats in front if you want to come up. Um, but anyway, on behalf of the board and the staff of the Grand Rapids Art Museum, we're thrilled to be partnering with these many wonderful institutions, uh, with Wood TV and other people, and also we want to say how important this message is and, and from um, all of us at the museum. And our mission is to connect people through art, creativity, and design. And I think that this contest and the jurying and all the work that the students did in their classroom and with their teachers and the doctors that are here, and um, it's so important bringing people together for a message like this. So it's yet another way that the art museum uh, is connecting with the community, and I, I hope doing good things. And these posters, what I've seen on the projections, they're amazing, they're awesome. So it's inspiring me as well. So thank you all for coming. Uh, come back to the museum often. And on with the show. All right. And Dana, what, what time did your flight land? Your plane landed what time? Oh, uh, midnight last night. Okay, he just, he just flew in from Japan, like last night. He just got in from Japan, because he's here today. So that's a long flight. We weren't sure you were going to make it. We're so glad to see you here today. Thank you. Thank you once again. We also want to thank uh, Rick Wynn and Darren Lettinga from the Amway Grand Plaza Ho Hotel, who have generously provided the delicious reception you will all enjoy following tonight's ceremony. Um, also, Class Quant and his crew from the Grand Rapids Community, Founda uh, Community College, who are videotaping this afternoon's event so that you can share it with your friends and family who weren't able to join us here at the museum. And our prizes for this year's contest were donated by the CDV5 Foundation, Kent County Osteopathic Association, Kent Medical Foundation, Meyer Corporate, Kendall College of Art and Design at Ferris State University, Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park, John Ball Zoo, and the Grand Rapids Public Museum. So lots of great prizes for all our winners tonight. As you walked into this beautiful auditorium, you were able to view each of the posters entered this year. And winners will be presented in a few minutes and displayed on stage. Teachers, your class posters will be given to you after the ceremony so that students may take their posters home to share with their family and friends. Each student will receive a backpack with the winning artwork printed on it. These can be obtained after the award ceremony from your teachers, because otherwise you would know who won, right? Uh. So you get them afterwards. Before we begin the program, it is also important to emphasize the tremendous work 
you, students, have done in communicating the devastating effects of tobacco to the health of our community. The best way to stop the ravages of tobacco use is to prevent its use by society's most vulnerable members. Many of you here today have already made or will be making the decision about whether you will try a tobacco product, vaping, or juuling. And the leaders here today are pleased that you and educators are, you are educating us and others. In my years involved in this poster contest, it's easy to see the tremendous talent many of these young artists from West Michigan. I suspect we will continue to hear from all of today's artists, perhaps in an art prize event in the future. That would be pretty cool. As you know, um, there are prizes awarded today and every one of our prize winners will also receive Mr. Richard DeVos's books entitled 10 Powerful Phrases of Positive People. Students, when your name is called, may come forward to accept your award. You will also receive one of these books. Well, that's cool. All right. I think it's time to start giving away prizes. You guys ready? <laughs> All right. Well, here to set the tone, we're going to start right off. The sixth honorable mention award will be presented by our buddy Dale Robertson, president and CEO of the Grand Rapids Public Museum. Thank you, Ava. Welcome. It is my pleasure, as Ava said, to uh, present the sixth honorable mention, which is a family membership to the Grand Rapids Public Museum. All right, so let's see what this envelope tells me here. So the winner is in Mrs. Helson's class, a sixth grader at Mona Shores Middle, Skylar McLaughlin. Skyler, where are you? You here? Oh, here she is. Come on up. Okay, hold up for a picture. Nope, we gotta, we gotta pose. Come on right around here. Look at this. We got a, right here. We got a McLaughlin and a Robertson together. <laughs> you can sit down. Thank you. All right. Now we know how it works. The fifth honorable mention award will be presented by Patricia Dalton, executive director of the Kent Medical Foundation. Okay, this is gonna be another very popular kid in the family because I'm giving away a family membership to the Grand Rapids Public Museum. And it is going to somebody in, at, from Godfrey Lee Middle, Mr. Tony's class, eighth grade. Catherine Ferriage. Did I get that right? The fourth honorable mention award will be presented by Dr. Larry Gerb Gerbins, Pre-Health Advisor and Liaison to Health Com Committee at Calvin College. Wow, it's a long title. Come on up, Doc. I am privileged to present the fourth honorable mention. It goes to somebody in the seventh grade in the Forest Hills uh, school system in fact, from, Forest, from Northern Hills Middle School, Mrs. Hartig's class, Dakota Hagedorn. Turn around for a picture. All right. Okay. And the third honorable mention will be presented by Dr. James Fonner, Division Chief of Pediatric Hematology Oncology at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital. 
Thank you, Eva. This is always such a special treat. Uh, it was a privilege to be part of the jury this year because the artistry, uh, the passion uh, in our winners uh, and all of the entries this year was, was really remarkable. For me, this is a very, very special personal day because in our work as a team at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital each and every day, we work with a group of courageous children who are battling cancers that are, for the most part, unpreventable to have a, a particular cause that we know is a preventable cause of cancer is a very, very important public health message, and it's one that you are helping to bring home to all of us today through your art, through your passion, through the message, and we're very, very grateful to all of the entries today. So the envelope, please. We'll try to do this just like Oscar Knight. Uh, this is from Mrs. Hartig's class at Forest Hills Northern, a seventh grader, and this award is presented uh, a family membership to the John Ball Zoo for the third honorable mention to Julia Jew. The second honorable mention will be presented by John Vanderhagen, Director of Communications, Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. All right. Well, I am proud to present the second honorable mention award, and this is a one-year family membership to Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park. The winner of this award is a student in Mrs. Klug's class, a sixth grader at Crestwood Elementary, and the winner is Brooklyn Bonjanic. Brooklyn. <laughs> The first honorable mention award will be presented by Jennifer Cecil, Curatorial Assistant, Grand Rapids Art Museum and 2019 jury member. All right. So the first honorable mention award is a one year family membership to Frederick Meyer Gardens and Sculpture Park and is going to a seventh grader from Forest Hills Central Middle School, Gia Niemeyer. <laughs> this is not Gia, you can still get your picture taken. <laughs> okay, thank you. Sorry that Gia couldn't make it tonight. We now move on to the placed awards. The eighth place award will be presented by Leslie Bella, uh, Bellavance. Did I say that right this time? I wanted to get it right. President and CEO of Kendall College in Art and Design, Fair State University here at uh, West Michigan, and also a West Michigan artist herself. Thank you so much. This is the eighth place award. It's a, it's a youth art class to Kendall Art, Kendall College of Art and Design at Ferris State University. And before I present this award, I'd like to just say a few words about what an incredible event this is uh, every year. I come here and see the remarkable work of the students. And I like to give a shout out to the teachers because we know how important the art teachers are. So thank you. <laughs> And this award goes to a student in Mrs. Klug's class at Crestwood Middle in the eighth grade, Michael Antonovich. Okay, thank you, Leslie. Seventh place award will be presented by Paul Nicholson, Vice President of Makatawa Bank and President of Kent Medical Foundation Board. Thank you, thank you. 
Uh, thanks again for coming, everybody, and thank you. From a few weeks back, uh, I was able to MC kind of the coordination of all the artwork and what, all the efforts, and we heard all the stories of everyone. And uh, we do appreciate all the efforts of the students and the teachers and really the school districts behind supporting this program. So big thanks to that. Uh, okay, seventh place, I have the envelope here. Um, it's a, the prize is a youth art class uh, to Kendall College of Art and Design, part of Ferris State University. And the winner is from Mrs. Helson's class at Mona Shores Middle School. And that would be Aubrey Weeks in seventh grade. Aubrey? Thank you very much. Very cool. Yes, they, <clears throat> and now <clears throat> we got six left here. The sixth place award will be presented by Doug um, Amaral, pr Principal Mona Shores Middle School. Well, I appreciate the opportunity and I appreciate seeing everyone here. Um, to the entire NICO team, today I stood in front of 943 middle school kids and we talked about being uh, and being our personal best and having a space to do that um, is really phenomenal for our kids to come and showcase their artwork, show their personal best, and hopefully impact the lives of others when they do that. So thank you for that. Our sixth place winner uh, is a, an eighth grade student from Pinewood Middle School in Mrs. Grigorski's class. And that goes to Sarah Shapin. All right, this keeps getting lower, there we go. Fifth place award will be presented by Dan Beam, Superintendent, Forest Hills Public Schools. Thank you. I would just like to uh, thank all of our art teachers here. Thank you for giving all of our students the gift of art and the communication that you all do as young people through art. I hope you continue to do that throughout your lives. I would also just like to especially thank Dr. Luis Tomatis. Uh, Dr. Tomatis, I think it was 13 years ago you came to my office with this vision uh, and you had talked to so many other educators, and it has grown and grown each and every year. And to the young people here, never doubt that your single solitary effort can change the world, because indeed it has with this event uh, that continues on here. So on with the festivities. I am honored to present a fifth place award which is a Beats headphone by Dr. Dre, donated by the Meyer Corporation. This goes to a sixth grade student in Mrs. Klug's class at Crestwood Middle School. Please help me thank and honor Ismael Suljevic. Ismael. The fourth place award will be presented by Michael Zerhoff, superintendent of the Kentwood Public Schools. Thank you. Same as Mr. Uh, my friend Dan Beam said, thank you to all who are here. And it is a humble honor to present this such talent in the room, such talent. I was talking with my friend Dale and we were talking about, are you a good artist? Yeah, and anybody's a good artist, you know, but you guys are special. You guys are special. A lot better than Dale and I, too. So gr great job. I would like to present the fourth place award. It is a Beats by Dr. Dre, donated by the Meyer Corporation. It is in Miss Hartig's class at Forest Hills Northern Middle, eighth grader, Catherine Blingett. <laughs> okay. The
the third place award uh, recognizing best presentation will be presented by Dr. Adam Wolf, who is an internal medicine physician with Metro Health University of Michigan Health and president of the Kent County Osteopathic Association. Thank you, Ava. This organization hits so close to home on so many levels as a um, practicing physician, um, as an advocate for patients, um, as a father for a high schooler, a middle schooler, and an elementary schooler. This is so huge. I can tell you thank you so much, students. Thank you so much, teachers. So I have the honor of um, presenting the next two awards, actually. So third place for best verbal presentation. Um, this goes, this is a Nintendo Switch gaming console, so pretty cool, donated by Kent County Osteopathic Association. This goes to a student in Mrs. Robinson's class at Kellogg'sville Middle School, seventh grade. Her name is Alexandria Smith. I want to thank Ms. Robinson for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank all my Team 21 friends back there for helping me. I want to thank my mom and my dad for helping me with my speech because I really needed it. So, um, yeah, thank you. I think there's a, there's a job for you on TV here sometime. Uh, the second place award recognizes the best artwork will also be presented by Dr. Adam Wolf. The winner of this award will have their original artwork on the 2019 backpacks that everyone will receive today. So that's really cool. Excellent. So um, this award is an iPad donated by, donated by Kent County Osteopathic Association. Um, this goes to a student in Mrs. Gregorski's class at Pinewood Middle, eighth grade. And his name is Jason Yosefiski. Jason, did you want to say to you? Uh, hi. <laughs> I want to thank uh, my art teacher, Ms. G. I want to thank my parents for helping me with uh, my speech. And I want to thank the judges because they picked me. So, <laughs> uh, thank you. Well, way to go, you know, you don't know. Somebody sticks a microphone in your face and off you go. And now, the Jose Nariso First Prize Award, recognizing best overall poster. Jose Nareso, after whom the first prize is named, was both an artist and a teacher at Grand Rapids Public Schools. As someone who was involved with the youth of GRPS on a daily basis, he tried to share his passion of, for the visual arts with his students. Just one of the ways he did this was to help us create this poster contest, and so made a way for his students to publicly showcase their creative talents. I'd like to welcome Mr. Tom Bratt, Grants Manager at the DeVos Foundation. Uh, thank you so much. A great honor to be here with you today. I want to echo what Dr. Wolf said about this hitting close to home. Um, you know, they didn't have this when I was a kid. And when I was in high school, my best friend said, uh, you know, I got some cigarettes. You want to try one? I never once thought I would be a smoker, but um, uh, for 12 years I was, and, uh, and a pack a day, and it's been uh, 25 years now without a cigarette, so. Um, <laughs> now, um, but when Dr. Will said it hits close to home, so I have three daughters, two in middle school, one in high school, and um, yeah, I just think about it all the time, think about my daughters, and I hope that they're um, smarter and stronger than their dad was, so um, without further ado. Uh, for the Xbox, 
the winners from uh, Gerald R. Ford Academic Center, Mrs. Ty's class, and the winner is Aiden Pagan. <laughs> Um, I just want to say I'm proud to be here today in front of all of you and I did this in sixth grade and over the past two years three I didn't you know think I'd place but you know what to say third tries the charm so <laughs> yeah thank you That's a good saying, third time's a charm. You're absolutely right. Well, congratulations to all of our, your artistic effort in this contest. We know your messages are powerful and effective. The final recognition today will be presented to a teacher. The Minhar and Tomitis Award goes to an outstanding supporter of the arts program in education in recognition of their instruction in passion and energy to benefit students and this program. And something that I just wanted to mention about Gretchen Minhar is that on the nicotine bags and their new logo was actually designed by Gretchen. And um, it's, uh, for those of you who see it here, we really want to, one of the last things that she did, something that I know is really, really important to her, and just wanted to mention that the logo design, um, Gretchen will always be with us. Does she have her here? And at this time, I'd like to invite um, Dr. Jane Quartz, who will be joining me on stage to present this award. Dr. Quartz serves as the Executive Medical Director with Mercy Health, is an internal medicine physician and former president of the Kent Medical Foundation. Thank you. This award ceremony always goes so fast from my perspective, and I want to take a moment just to thank all the students, the teachers, the parents, the superintendents, and everyone who's involved, because I know you put so much time into this, and this piece goes so fast, so just to acknowledge that. Students, I am always so impressed with the work that you do, that you're able to stand up and share a message, and that you have the courage to do that. Each and every one of you is a winner. You are leaders as you move forward, and please continue to take that message forward and share that with others. I so appreciate that. I'm so impressed. Also, I want to thank Dr. Tomatis, who's here with us today and gracing us with his presence for the brainchild of this idea, along with his wife, which has been an absolutely wonderful program to bring to this community. So thank you, Dr. Tomatis. So I am privileged to present an award to one of the teachers. Our teachers teach, coach, and mentor each one of us, and hopefully leave a lasting impression on each and every student as we move forward, becoming the leaders of tomorrow. So just for a moment before I present an award to one special teacher, each one is special, and I'd like to, a round of applause from everyone for our teachers here. So I have the distinct pleasure of presenting the 2019 Minhar and Tomatis Award for Supporting Arts and Education, which includes a $200 gift certificate for art supplies for the classroom. The winner of the award this year is Mr. Ken Matthews of the Grand Rapids Public Schools Loop Program. Here. That's good. Mr. Matthews, we are grateful for your continued commitment to assure uh, participation by all the schools. Thank you for being here.
Do you want to say anything, Mr. Matthews? <laughs> if your students could, you could, right? Good. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, appreciative of this award caught me by surprise. I was headed the other direction on the cell phone there. Uh, uh, first, want to thank the creator for the provision made. Uh, I'm glad to uh, be recognized. I'm also glad that I could be of service to the after school program for Grand Rapids Public Schools and those students. Thanks again. So again, thank you all for making this another terrific nicotine program. And at this time, we would appreciate if all of the winners would come to the stage and stand beside their poster for photos. Uh, thank you all for your attention and congratulations to this year's nicotine contest 2019. And don't forget, the food is ready out in the lobby. Yay, teachers. Uh, in the back tables, please lead your classrooms to the lobby if they're not winners. All winners, please come to the stage. <laughs> <laughs>